Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to explain how to manage Novo DS devices deployed on your network. Launch Novo DS software. You will see two tabs at the top left corner, DS Playlists and DS Devices. The DS Playlist tab is used for playlist editing, while the DS Devices tab is used to manage deployed Novo DS devices. This video focuses on device management, namely the DS Devices tab. There are mainly three functions, Device Addition or Removal, Remote Snapshot, and Scheduler. We're going to cover these three topics one by one. Add or Remove a Device. Click Add a Device to add a new device named Lobby DS, along with its description and IP address. We'll come back to the playlist and group a bit later. Similarly, we'll create another Novo DS device named Cafe DS. We can remote manage all these devices over the network, such as establishing connection, assigning playlists, and starting or stopping playback. We can do more in device settings, such as deleting playlists, setting up a password, and initiating firmware upgrade. This last button allows us to configure a scheduler for the device, which will be covered in detail later in this video. Now let's talk about the group. This concept enables users to manage multiple devices sharing the same playlist as a group. For example, here we set up a group named First Floor DS. We can then manage playlist assignments and device members. As a result, we can synchronize a playlist or a schedule to all devices in the group and start and stop their playback simultaneously. Configure Playback Schedule. Click the button Add Schedule to add a new schedule with an appropriate name. Then we'll start adding schedule items to the schedule. You can choose from once, hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Let's define a weekly schedule for advertisements in every workday morning. Select the desired playlist and then specify playback duration, start time, etc. After you save the schedule item, you can still continue to edit it or remove it completely. Now we're ready to apply a schedule to a Novo DS device. Connect the device first and then apply the schedule by selecting from the drop-down list. Similarly, you can apply a schedule to all devices in a group. Remote Snapshot and Live Message. Here it shows the snapshots of all connected Novo DS devices as indicated by their green light status. Disconnected devices are shown in the right pane. As you can see, live snapshots from these remote devices are being rendered periodically. You can even zoom in or out of the snapshot windows to your preferred size. Live Message is in the control panel below. There are two types of operations, Message Overlay, which shows a message on top of the current playlist, and Live Update, which changes content within the current playlist. The first step is to identify which devices you want to operate. You can select All, Unselect All, or check or uncheck the checkboxes of the desired devices. Then you'll decide what content format to be used, rich text, slideshow, or a web page. For illustration purposes, we'll use rich text. 
First, you create the rich text content, including text, fonts, layout, etc. Then, you can define the dimension of the message box and the display duration. Click Show and the message shows on top of the current content. The small screen is the actual output of the Novo DS device. Click Hide to dismiss the message box. You can use Slideshow and web page as the message overlay in the same way. Live Update is a bit more sophisticated. The key concept is Channel, which defines the region we can do live updates. We need to return to the Playlist section to introduce this concept. In the current playlist, Region 3 is defined as static text with a channel ID of 1. This means we can use Channel 1 to change the display content during playback. Now we understand where the channel ID comes from. In the control panel, we can input new text for display during playback. For example, we'll enter the text Welcome to our booth, click on Show and the display is changed. We also supply a numeric keypad for ease of content input, for example, a patron's number in a restaurant's waiting list. We've covered the basic operations of Novo DS device management. Please visit our website for more product information and ask for a demo. Thanks for watching.